Yang Tai Chi for Beginners. Tai Chi Chuan is a kind of moving meditation with ancient roots in Chinese martial arts. In this program, Dr. Yang Jingming teaches you the traditional Yang style form step by step while explaining the meaning of each movement. Yang Tai Chi is the most popular style in the world, and it is practiced by millions of people every day. By practicing Tai Chi, you relax the mind and body deeply, which is the key to maintaining and improving your health. When you are calm and centered, your body's natural restorative abilities are most efficient. Slow and deep breathing during Tai Chi will increase your lung capacity and oxygen intake, and can develop healthier breathing habits. Regular practice can benefit your strength, flexibility, bone density, and muscle mass. The low impact exercise has been shown to improve symptoms of depression and insomnia. And promote the healing of chronic conditions. Tai Chi is an excellent way to relieve stress, lower your blood pressure, and develop a positive attitude toward life. When you practice Tai Chi slowly, it is a kind of Qigong practice, which develops and refines your body's energy. Tai Chi will increase your circulation of blood, nutrients, and energy throughout the body, resulting in improved vitality and longevity. You will become more aware of your connection with nature, and over time, your body's energy will harmonize with the energy of your surroundings. Your movements should feel comfortable, flowing, and natural. Take your time and train within your own limitations. As you get stronger, you may practice in a lower stance. In this program, Dr. Yang demonstrates and instructs the complete Tai Chi form from the front, and shows each movement one by one from multiple angles. There is also a rear view of the form that you can simply follow along with once you're familiar with the movements. It is best for beginners to focus on learning a few movements at a time, and then string them together at your own pace. Tai Chi will develop your mind's alertness and concentration, which can help you become more present in the moment. Most importantly, as you practice, pay attention to the feeling within the movements, so you may appreciate the profound essence of Tai Chi Chuan. You understand, Yang style became so popular in 1928. From 1928, and become more popular, more popular until now. You can see Yang style is everywhere. Why Yang style has become so popular? That's because it benefits. It benefits for health. It's amazing. 
Yeah, the why is that so amazing? Because when Yang Chang Fu changed the form to more and more bigger postures, it's more for relaxation. Now, the people start experience that relaxation helping to open the joints. Not only that, from the body structure, they have the center, they have the balance, they have the root. The scientists already confirmed so far. 42% of the senior people, they fall less once they practice Tai Chi Chuan. Yeah, it's a repeatedly reported and verified Tai Chi Chuan is very good for the joints and most important for the bones. For all the people to learn to get balance, to get root. Remember, if you don't have balance, you don't have root, you cannot find the center. You cannot find the center, that's the reason people minds get chaos. It's very important to help you find this center. Tai Chi Chuan is to provide you that. The very important, very important part is the bones. Bones is a piezoelectric material. Piezoelectric material, that means you have to generate pressure. When you have a pressure, then there's the electricity circulating inside. But there's electricity to Chinese is considered qi. It's bioenergy circulating in the body. Okay, but from the body, from Tai Chi Chuan, you see from this squat down, for example, the leg and this leg already build the structure. For this foundation, if this three foundation is weak, now it cannot have a root, it cannot have balance. That's why when the people, the leg is weak, they go like this and they fall. So it's very important for anyone, you want to build up your spirit, find the center. First one, this three section has to be strong. And Tai Chi just provides you for that. You say, okay, people say, oh, I'm, my leg is already so weak. It's fine. We start with high posture. There's no problem. Slowly, when you get stronger and stronger, and get lower, and get lower, and get lower. When you get lower, it's very good. Watch me, I'm 65. When I practice Tai Chi until this one, it's a called typical. There's a very traditional young style Tai Chi Chuan. The movement is supposed to be this low. If you can get this low, then your leg is strong. Yeah, because you have to be stable, you have to really stable and balanced. Important part is when you learn Tai Chi to a long period, you try to feel the center instead of just by looking because now you rely on the surrounding environment to balance it, to find the center. Now, that's exactly when you try to get an idea, for example, Pong Li Ji An, it kind of happens so often. Here you can see, just close your eyes, put the feeling there. You can see, can you feel this balance? Can you feel this center? And without destroying the center of the body, you can feel the body structure. You want to learn to feel the balance, feel center, close your eyes. One of the very simple exercise in Tai Chi Chuan actually, stand one leg with eye closed and see how long you can stand there. If you can find the center, yes, you got a full good internal foundation of a Tai Chi Chuan. Normally, Yang Sao Tai Chi Chuan is 18 minutes to 20 minutes is good. But you understand, to the martial artist, that's not enough. 18 to 20 minutes, that's beginners. Okay, but uh, to a lot of tra uh, traditional martial artists that train Tai Chi Chen, they try to train Tai Chi Chen slower and slower and slower and slower the inside. You can train Tai Chi Chen, entire Tai Chi Chen to become one hour. That means your movement is so slow, it can go all the way to one hour. That means that every time the movement, the breathing is three times longer than normal. Sorry, I cannot reach a stage yet. I'm still working on it because the mind has to be so peaceful the body is, has to be in such a high relaxed state, so the oxygen consumption go to the minimum. You don't have that kind of highly relaxed meditative state, impossible you can reach one hour. Yeah, that's become the inside of a training, talking about energy circulation in the body. The other young side of a training is to train the Tai Chi Chuan faster and faster and faster. When you train faster and faster, they become martial arts side applications, because it, don't, it doesn't matter what, when you fight, Speed is important. You cannot say, ask your enemy, say, slow down, you're too fast. So you have to really speed up. So that's all the, when you try the young side, become faster and faster, become power manifestation. And until the entire Tai Chi sequence, actually only three minutes. For example, Pong Li Jian, right? You say, this is a Pong, regular speed. Is this a regular speed? Okay, but in the, the real situation, you say like this. Yeah, it's become very fast. So every moment you fast and strike and right away you relax immediately. Okay, so how you train Tai Chi, how long it's supposed to be, depends what's your purpose. For beginners, 18 to 20 minutes is reasonable. A lot of people say, 
ask me the same question. He say, well, if I want to learn Tai Chi only for health part, why should I have a sense of enemy? Why should I not application? I always ask them, say, well, you want to learn Tai Chi for just for relaxation. You don't really need teacher. You don't need me. You don't need anybody else. All you do is just put a light music on. Don't worry about anything. Because you are look, not looking for the deep aspect of the arts. All you do is just oh, move your hands and relax and move it. Because the movement, it doesn't have a different meaning. But you learn Tai Chi for the meaning because remember, it is your mind to lead the Qi and the circuit. You want to have the meaning to use your mind to lead the Qi. You got to have a sense of enemy because every movement design is just for that. So you just learn Tai Chi just for relaxation. Sorry, you got the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, but you want to do Tai Chi Chuan, say, okay, no, I want to use my mind, train my mind to focus, high alertness, high awareness, so I can use this Tai Chi Chuan to lead the Qi, to circulate my body. That's a challenge. That is a deep. So you have to think about what your purpose of Tai Chi Chuan. You learn Tai Chi as a lifetime, or you turn learning Tai Chi just for fun. You learn Tai Chi for a lifetime, I would say, ooh, try Traditional Tai Chi probably is better because the more the more it get in, the deeper it becomes. Okay, thank you.
Thank you.